Well, here it is. We're at the Copart Yard in Houston, Texas, where it is busy out here, man. I can't believe the number of cars that are coming through those gates. Well, they're bringing the car that I came to collect, and basically, I, I totally understand this. They're not gonna allow me to do a walk around in the yard because this yard is so busy. It's the biggest one in the United States and there's traffic. They can't even close the gate. There's so many cars coming through. They try and close the gate, the gate opens back up again. Anyhow, here comes our car. This is a parts car for the Caprice that we have. Um, so I'm not prepared on what to say here because uh, things aren't going exactly uh, what I had planned so he's going to drop it onto the trailer for me and I'm gonna strap it down I'll get the title and, and drive four hours home unfortunately so if you ever buy a car from Houston the Copart in Houston please make sure that you make an appointment um, you have three days before you start accruing fees um, well I guess he's not gonna drop it on the truck is taking off well it's supposed to be a run and drive let's see if it actually does let's go over there and take a look and there is quite a bit of dust out here oh my goodness so it's listed as front end damage but the front end damage is so light uh, it's sort of unbelievable. Um, <sighs> okay. So where's the key? I'm not seeing the key. It would appear that somebody has taken the key. I'm not seeing it anywhere. So, all right, well, let me go back inside, see if I can, see if I can get them to drop it on the trailer. I'm not as concerned about a key, but um, it's, uh, if it's a run and drive, it had to have had a key. And I'm not seeing it. This thing is trashed. Looks a lot worse in person than it does on uh, on the video or online. All right, well, let me go back inside and say, hey, where's the key? Did they take it off or did somebody steal it? And if somebody stole it, then that's a problem. That's not a key, that's not a key. No key in there. No key on the dash, no key in the ignition. Ah, looks like it may be broken off in there. So, let's see if I can do this. Nope, nope, nope. And that's what's happened. Somebody has broken it off. Uh, 
Well, maybe not. All right. Oh, we gotta go back in. Go back in and see what's going on. This is just not working out the way I thought it would at all. So let's uh, let's go see what we can do. I'll come back in a minute. We got it. So apparently what they do when you're ready to come pick it up is they take the key off so nobody can take the key because uh, it was listed run and drive. Well, I don't know everything behind what's going on with that, but uh, let's see if it is actually run and drive. And I can uh, get it up there behind the trailer, get my ramps out. Yes. got a check engine light on that's no big deal because we're pulling the engine out 144,997 half a tank of gas um, and the air conditioner actually works whereas in the other one it doesn't so let me pull these ramps out and we'll get this thing loaded up leave my GoPro sitting on the hood so we'll bring it over here that's close enough let me go see where we are with the wheels see if I lined it up properly and here comes the rain Yeah, I think that's going to work. Just turn a little to the right. make sure we're far enough forward maybe a little too far all right we can come back yeah let's do that let's come back about a foot are we close enough to centered yeah yeah we're close enough to center all right So we'll come back about a foot. And we'll shut it off. And I'll put the key up here. Well, I must say that Conroy PD trashes their cars. Left a bunch of bullets behind. That's all right, I can always use them. So. Here we are. What the hell is this? Uh, 
Well, that's what happens when you take things to Ford to be fixed. You end up with situations like that. All right, let me take a look at that. I'm going to shut this off for now, get this thing strapped down, and we'll be on our way home.